guys, uh, this is Chris again. Welcome back to uh, Feed the Beast tutorial this time. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to make a, a, um, a diamond room. We're a room where we can make our own diamonds and have our diamonds created for us. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start, got a little 9x9 nine nine room, we're going to try to squeeze it all in here and uh, get it going. The first thing we want to do is we're going to want to set up a chest. This chest is going to be where we start by putting all of our coal. So we're going to start setting our chest over here. Um, right up against this wall. Um, inside that chest, so we're going to put our coal. So that we're going to need to hook up to that chest. We're going to need to hook that up to a macerator. All right. So we're going to need a wooden piece of wooden uh, transport pipe. I'm going to click the box and get that set down. And next to that, we're going to set our macerator. All right. Now, for our macerator, our macerator really needs to go in through the top. Because it makes everything easier, so we're going to set both pieces that way. And with that, we used um, what is it? I used just regular cobble transport pipe. And we're going to set our macerator right here. Now, my macerator, I always want to set my macerators next to bat boxes because they go ahead and uh, help charge. So we're going to set our bat box right there, and we're going to turn it. I believe. Let's see if it's this. I believe it's this one. Let's see. Oh, nope, not that one. Um, la, 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 la. And like I said, I'm still new at this mod stuff, so please forgive me. We'll set it kind of like that. That's good. Now, next to that, we want to set a generator. Um, I'm gonna. The reason I'm saying a generator at this point is because. Oh, that can't go there. Um. Generator. Why I was saying a generator at this point is that generators. Uh, you know, I need a permanent form of, of electricity, high power, high voltage electricity in here. So for right now, we're going to go ahead and we'll use a a uh, generator. And uh, there's our base. That's our start. Now it's actually too close. Let's go ahead and move everything over one. The reason I want to move everything over one is that macerator was getting a connection into the bottom. And that won't allow us to... Uh, won't allow us to properly have everything right. Okay. So we need to add one more piece of cobblestone pipe. Alright, and we need to put back our... Ah, it broke generator broke that time. That's not good. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and make another generator and I'll be back. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chris. Uh, I had a little bit of a video problem so I kind of lost some footage. So uh, rather than tear all this lovely work back up, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through what I got done here. Um, when I last left you, I was fiddling with the macerator and the uh, bat box. I stuck in a generator and next to it I stuck in two compressors. Alright, now what I've done here is you pipe in this into the macerator and we use a um, redstone engine to pump it to make it work, make this wooden pipe flow this into the macerator. And uh, we're going to turn this on here in a while after I run the redstone. Um, right here this one takes the macerated coal which comes out as coal dust and sends it to, to here. This is an automatic uh, crafting table. Now once we get going I'll set the crafting recipe up and I'll fill this up full of flint and it takes flint and coal dust and makes a coal ball and spits it out this side to go to this compressor here. Now this compressor here compresses that into um, what's it called? It's a coal block I think it is and it spits this out and comes to here where it's added with obsidian and out comes a coal chunk now this coal chunk goes down here to your to our final uh, compressor, and our compressor then spits out a diamond, and it comes all the way out to our chest. So we will stick our chest on a piece of fur, just because it looks like we meant to do it, and our chest will come out here. Whoop! 
wrong one, sorry. Wake up. That chest will come out there and I'll have that. All right, now what I was, what I need to do is I need to add in additional redstone engines. I have some more right here. I need to add one here. Now comes the fun part, which is wiring it all. I want this all to run on a switch, a single switch. So, oh, and I have to overclock everything still. All right, this macerator right here needs to be overclocked four times. This doesn't do anything, but oh, that's a generator. Excuse me. Oh, crap. Where's the macerator? What? Oh, so I guess the macerator got ruined earlier too. Love it. <laughs> Even though I used the right tool on it. <sighs> Whatever. Alright, we'll have to fix that. Alright, let me go get the macerator and we'll come back. Okay, back with a macerator. Right there. Evidently, I broke it. All right, I was fiddling with some stuff here. And so, this reader goes there. If I can put it there, it goes right there. There we go. Get out, bat! You irritate me. All right. So back to what we were doing. Now we needed it to. Uh, up the redstone. Shoe bat. These bats are irritating. Got you. <coughs> see if that turn if that turns on. Nothing. Everything but that one. Okay. Alright, so anyways, we'll come back and figure that out in a second. Alright, we got those all turned on. Need to turn the outside ones on, so run some red stuff this way.
here. Rock here. short one. We're going to turn these pumps on. Alright, we'll just do it the old fashioned way for now. Object was to get this whole thing bumping in here on an on off switch. So I got it kind of crammed up. I was trying to make it tighter. Uh, this guy's gonna kill me. And this this hopper we put our our obsidian since we need one and it's gonna load on that This is our wraparound pipe. I'm having fits in here, guys. Turn it off for a second. I get that? Yes, I get that black pipe. Yep, I did that time. Okay. Still doesn't work.
I've got our loop. eight of these so we can set this up. Basically with what I brought in I'm probably gonna get three diamonds out. And while I'm here, I'm just gonna do some paneling. Make this place look a little better. shouldn't be using this good pick to do this. All right, while this is building up, I'll go ahead and uh, do some work around here, do some neatening up, and I'll get back to you as soon as I get some stuff to add back in. Well, I got one little small problem right here. I didn't notice my hoppers connected back in. I'm going to have to change this and come out a little bit. Okay, we're back. Everything's running now. Uh, going ahead and made the room green. Use some fur and some fur stairs and made a nice little roof there. Nothing special, but it looks good. Um, and this is the first room in my new my new uh, base. Each room's going to be in the 9x9 nine nine size. And uh, there'll be different colors and different things. So we we'll start. We started off with a 9x9 nine nine boring little room uh, to make some diamonds in. So, in there you got a chest of coal. Working its way over through a pump. Redstone pump up and over and around. Goes into here, overflow goes back around. Macerator macerates. That's what it does. So what it'd be doing, it'd be macerating. Hooked up to a bat box, hooked up to a generator. After it gets done macerating, it throws the coal dust out through here. Comes out over into this pot into this automatic crafting table. Wraps around some coal some flint, makes some coal dust makes a coal ball. When it makes a coal ball, it spits the coal ball out this side. I move this pipe down one, like I said I needed to. This comes out and goes inside of a compressor. Compressor takes the coal ball, squishes it down. I'm going to watch that while we're here. Makes it down into a um, coal ball. It's a compressed coal ball. It's like a little square one. And it spits it out here. Comes out here, goes into this. I'm at crafting table, wraps it around a piece of obsidian to make a coal chunk. Once it has that coal chunk, it spits it out here. It it, comes that to over here, and we've almost got a diamond. Then the diamond will come out over here, and eventually come into this, this chest here, which I need to empty out now, if I can. Mm, doesn't look like I can. Let's see if I can put some. Only problems I have with this is every once in a while the mass radio will I run the bat box out and makes lots of friggin' noise, but that's okay. Not really that bad because I'm just making a diamond. Hands out of position on the keyboard, sorry about that. Um, so, i leave that stuff there because I'm not going to in that box. And, uh, basically, we're just kind of waiting for this to finish here. Go two more pieces of one more now excuse me two more pieces of coal dust here and this will be done when you overclock a macerator it uses a lot more power that bat box is barely enough to keep it going but it seems to be doing alright now with the setup we have here See, it just funnels it right into the compressor. Stuff. This setup works pretty good, actually. 
for my first totally automated creation on my own. I like it. Let's see me while I drink some water. All right, compressor made it. Pop pops out. You can see we put the overclockers inside the compressor as well to speed them up, but they don't need to be sped up quite as fast because nothing's coming out. There's no real backlog. This will be the last one. Pop. Whoop, throws out a cold chunk. There goes my cold chunk. We'll walk down this. Watch it come on. Cold chunk rising. There's a cold chunk rising. I feel we're headed for a fall. Compressing the coal into a diamond. Watch it. It's lots of fun for one and all. Now, like I said, again, this is very intensive on your coal, so you're going to want to have some sort of alternative en energy source before you go here. Um, you see me using coal coke, but that's because I built up a lot, a decent stockpile of it. There it goes. It's going in. Bolt. And it's working. And it's working. And we have our first, wait for it, wait for it, diamond. There it is. Where'd it go? Ah, oh, there it is. Pop. So, it just made us a diamond. So after all that waiting, we got a diamond. Now, I said put hoppers on here. You probably don't need to put a hopper on this one. This one, it's okay to have a hopper on because it gives you a place to throw your, your flint that you don't use as much. But this will keep running and it'll fill up until it runs out of fuel. So that's that. Fun and safe room with lots of machinery making diamonds. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, as always, please subscribe to my channel. Watch my uh, LPs. And let me know if you want me to do more tutorials like this. Thanks. This is Chris. Bye.